Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about tilt ball switch. Tilt ball switch is nothing but a um, metal device which looks something like this. And what the purpose of this sensors, they're kind of like switches that detect motions and movements. So it has a metal ball inside it, it detects movements and it kind of completes a circuit in a way. To test it out, what we're going to do is require two female jumper wires. Once we have our, our Elego circuit connected to our PC, giving us power supply, we can go ahead and uh, uh, insert the tilt ball switch inside the female jumper. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right, once it is done, we can see that when the light, which is over here, when the ball is down, there's no light indicating that circuit has been completed. However, when we rotate the ball up, the circuit has been completed and the light is up. Now, let's look at the fundamentals behind this. So, as you can see, the tilt ball switch has a metal ball inside it. The purpose of the metal ball is to complete the circuit. As you can see, we are supplying current through our PC and it's getting through the jumper wires. The current then is supplied into the switches, sensors, um, anode and cathode and that when the metal ball is on, on top of this uh, anodes and cathode, it completes the circuits. The only way it completes the circuit if it's on the top of this wires. And the only way it happens like that is when we switch the uh, tilt ball switch upside. If it's on the downside, it breaks the circuits. Hence, there's no light indicating that the circuit is completed. And as we can see, again, the light is switched. So this was an experiment on tilt ball switch. Hopefully you like it. If you like it, give it a subscribe. Thank you for watching.